So the first thing you'll need to do is grab some paper. I'm using this paper on a roll because that's the only kind of paper that I really have. And since it is on a roll, it does curl up. So I'm going to be taping my paper to the floor, but that step is optional, of course. If your paper lays flat, that's fine. Now I'm taking some shorts that I know fit me nice and snug, and I'm going to fold them in half, and then I'm going to place the pants on the paper right next to the edge of it, and I'm going to mark a line where the waistband ends. Now I'm going to find the front and back of my pants so that I know which side I'm working with and I'm going to start with the front so I'm going to find this little horizontal line in the crotch area and then I'm going to fold it down away from the front of the short and then I'm going to just slide my fingers down into the thigh holes of the pants because we want to make sure they're all the way open so that our thighs will fit in the pants. Now I'm just going to flatten it out and make sure that I get that curve in the front of the pants because we want the measurements to be perfect. And then I'm going to trace that out and connect it all the way up to that little mark we made that shows us how wide the waistband should be. Then I'm just going to go ahead and cut that pattern out and mark it with the letter F so I know that this piece is for the front. And now I'm going to take the front piece of my pattern and place it on another piece of paper that I ripped out for the back and I'm just going to mark the waistband measurements again. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did before but for the back. So I'm going to find that horizontal line with the back facing up and I'm going to fold it in half, slide my fingers down so that the thigh holes are perfectly flat so that our thighs can fit in the hole and then I'm gonna lay it flat on the paper and now this one's a little bit different once you get that curve in the back you're gonna tilt the shorts all the way up to that point you made and then trace that out and when you tilt it you want to make sure that you keep the crotch area where it was to begin with Once I'm done cutting this pattern out, I'm going to mark it with a B so I know that it's for the back. And this is how your two patterns should look. So off camera, I just went ahead and taped those two patterns together and this is what they look like. Now I'm opening my shorts up the right way just to make sure that the waist measurements are about right and as you can see, they are. And now I'm just showing you that the front of these shorts is shorter than the back. So I'm going to be making mine in the exact same way. So in order to get that, you want to grab the middle piece and pull it up and lay it flat like this. And then you're going to make sure the bottom of the shorts are flat against the bottom of the pattern. And then you can see that there's a slight angle here. So we're going to cut that angle. So what you want to do is move the pattern up to the corner, making sure that the bottom is still flat, and then we're going to cut right here at an angle so that the front of the shorts lays higher than the back. And I didn't like the way that it came out when I cut from this side, so I did go ahead and start to cut from the other side just so it can be nice and neat. So here is the finished pattern. Now off camera, I just went ahead and pinned the pattern to the shirt that I'm using. You don't have to use a shirt. You can just use fabric. Just make sure that there are two layers of fabric when you're cutting it out. So I'm just going to cut around the pattern, leaving about a half an inch of seam allowance. And I'm just going to cut that pattern out. Now the shirt that you see on top, that's a shirt that I already made. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that to cut out the shape of the shirt once I'm done cutting the shorts. And the reason why I cut close to the top of the shorts is because we don't need much seam allowance up there because we will be sewing an elastic to that at the end. Now I'm going to work on cutting the shirt out and I'm just going to move it down to that line that we already cut. And yes, it is a little slanted but you can fix that later. 
So I'm just gonna cut around the shirt and what I like to do is just cut halfway down the neckline and then I go to the other side and cut a slit up the side so I know where it should end. And then I fold the piece that I already cut in half and line it up with that slit and then just flatten it out and make sure that it's even. And then I go ahead and cut around that so I know that both sides are perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to place my right sides together and sew along the highlighted areas. Now that I've sewn along both of my curves, I'm going to find the middle of this fabric and pinch it and grab it up only one side of it and then I'm going to flip it on its side and as you can see the shorts are coming along. So now you're going to grab just that crotch area that you didn't sew and you're just going to sew one straight line all the way across. Now when you're sewing stretchy material with a straight stitch, you want to make sure to kind of tug at the fabric so that when you do tug at it and it stretches when you're wearing it, the stitch doesn't rip. So now I am just using this elastic to measure out my waistband and I took a pair of already existing shorts that I like the fit of to get those measurements the right size. But be sure to cut a little extra so you can stitch. And now I'm going to sew the open ends of the elastic together using two straight stitches. I recommend pinning the middle front and the middle back of the elastics first and then filling in pins from there. So unfortunately the clip of me sewing the elastic onto the garments got messed up but I will leave a link below of a good video showing you how to attach elastics and that's how it'll look once you're done. So this is the finished product y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check the description box for more information and please feel free to leave comments, questions, and suggestions on what you would like me to make next. Thanks for watching.